However, as they arrive at the destination, they realize that they were tricked. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Roxy. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to tell you about this book, In the Dark by Laureth Ann White. Previously a journalist and editor and now a best-selling author who won many awards in the writing industry. She was born and raised in South Africa, but now lives in Canada, where she draws inspiration from wild and dangerous nature. I would say that this book falls into a category of fiction mystery thrillers, fast-paced with a lot of suspense. There is always something happening. Fun fact about the author, she gets the best ideas while she performs sports activities such as skiing, hiking and swimming, and she considers them to be part of her job. So, this novel starts from the very end where a woman who survived something terrible is being questioned by the detective who is assigned to investigate what has happened. This woman is not very talkative. Every word has to be forced out of her, making us, the readers, realize that she is hiding something. But why would a victim hide anything and stand in the way of the investigation? Is this the result of trauma and deep state of shock? What is she hiding? And as soon as these questions start to pop one after another, the author gently takes us back in time to the beginning of the story, where we see seven people with different backgrounds who are strangers to one another. And they're about to board a small plane. They already are running late and weather conditions become slowly worse, making the pilot nervous as they have to wait for the eighth guest who might not make it in time. But that guest does come at the last minute and everyone being relieved makes their way to the beautiful resort with which they hope to sign a long-term contract that would be a dream for their private businesses. However, as they arrive at the destination, they realize that they were tricked. Instead of the modern hotel which they saw in the photos, they see an old deserted house with weird-looking totems outside that add the ghastly feel to the place. But it is too late to go back the same way they came as the weather became terrible and they would not be able to fly anymore. So they decide to stay a night in this house, but if this place looked ghastly outside, inside it looks creepy and scary. As every room has an object, that reminds a guest of something terrible they did. And the chair on top is a little counting rhyme for children, which is rewritten to send shivers down the spine of those eight people, as it states that each one of them is a liar and they will all face a horrible death as a punishment for what they did. That becomes a turning point for this group of people to start questioning each other and slowly they get to know that they all have met before and are related to a terrible crime. But being highly intelligent and logical, they try to deny that they did anything bad and decided that if they are the only eight people in this house, nothing bad will happen and they go to bed in hopes for the better. But the next morning, one of them has gone missing together with the plane, the only means of transport which they can use to return back. There was blood on the docks where the plane was, but maybe this person managed to survive and it was just an accident. Trying to believe in the best case scenario, the group of remaining people decides to search the forest to try to find the missing person and help out. But this expedition turns for the worst, as another person in the group gets killed and this time there is no question of any accident happening. Now, the group of remaining six people, trembling in fear, realize that this is no joke. Someone invited them all here for a reason. Someone who knows their dark secret and wants to kill them all, one by one. Who wants them all dead and why? I'm not going to tell you, you will have to find it out for yourself. Overall, I enjoyed reading this book and I would recommend it to anyone who likes suspense thrillers where you are kept hanging on the edge questioning what will happen. I love the way Laureth and White created a lot of suspense making me hooked 
and turning pages at a crazy speed to find out not only who is the killer, but what is their secret, who will survive as well as how will the side story unfold of the detective. This book has a lot of questions that slowly get revealed and I also liked that there was a full epilogue telling us what happened with the main characters after the story ended. Plus, I also like that the most characters in this book have their weak and strong sides, good and bad, making them human and relatable. So when they did get into very dangerous situation, this novel stirred in me strong emotions where I was afraid for them and also sad. It was also scary to imagine while reading how and to what extent people who are ruled by fear can turn into animals, a bit like in the book Lord of Lies by William Golding. Many minus point for me was that the ending of this novel I found to be a bit superficial for my taste. Not to spoil anything, I can say that I didn't understand the motive of the bad character, not the one who set it up, the other one. So, did you read this book as well? How did you find it? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want me to review a specific book, also please write it in the comment section. I'll be happy to do it. Thank you for watching and if you liked my review, please like it, share it with friends, subscribe and hit the notification button. See you soon!